In this episode of Shop Talk, we're going to look at repairing the crystal oven in my other B&K 2040. You remember in the last video when we uh, was working on the other 2040, I pulled this one down to check the 14 volt that was supposed to have been on the uh, base of Q305, which we found the manual was wrong. And we noticed that our crystal oven in this one has melted pretty good. Now it's important that we keep this wrapped up. This way it keeps the crystals at a stable uh, temperature. So we're going to show you how we're going to go about replacing this piece of styrofoam. So I have the old piece removed. And I have a block of uh, styrofoam that we can use to uh, carve out our new piece. So we can put this in and keep our crystal oven at a correct temperature. Now this is the one out of another unit and we'll use it as our template to measure out what we need. In one of Paul's videos from Mr. Carson's lab he showed us how to uh, put on a piece of wire on our solder iron to uh, solder uh, chassis well this also works real good for um, cutting cut styrofoam now inside our other crystal oven you can see we have a valley this way it um, does you know it does not come in contact with the components and the idea of this is to be able to go in and cut out what we need and pull it out to make our valley inside So you see here on the bench I have a small piece of plywood and it's just pinned down through some holes. And there's, you know, a seam in our bench. This is so that it gives it the, the right um, width as we push it down. And what we'll do, we'll hold our iron perpendicular here. And then we got a, uh, a rip fence or cutting our block. So I'm going to go ahead and heat up the iron. We'll put our block here and this way we can slide it right on down. Okay, our iron is heated up pretty nicely. We'll stick this here and get it good and straight. got our first cut okay now we're ready to make our end cut and there we have our block pretty smooth don't have to do no sanding or nothing just cut right on through it so now we got to uh, cut out our valley. So now what we're going to do is uh, use our iron and go ahead and be getting it heating up. And we're going to use this piece of styrofoam here to set our height. So hopefully we can uh, come in, walk our way down, and then pull out and try to keep it uh, at the right depth There we go. One crystal oven cover. So all I had left to do was remove the plug from the old melted unit, which is in good shape. Mark it, drill a hole, and put it in. 
so after your styrofoam cover is made, it um, wouldn't hurt to coat it with a bit of epoxy on the inside. And this will help to resist some of that heat. The good thing about the styrofoam, it will help keep the moisture out of the box also. You got to be careful what you do um, coat it with because, you know, some glues and uh, epoxy will eat styrofoam. So you got to make sure you use the right brand. So there we go, our styrofoam cover is in place. That'll hold the heat in. Now you got to use the more dense styrofoam because it's more resistant to heat. Something like this old sheet, you can see how uh, porous it is. This is going to melt on you very quickly. So this wouldn't be uh, a good piece to use. Uh, I think this here came out of a refrigerator that was purchased and this was the foam that was in the box to help protect it. This came out of a piece of electronic gear that was packaged and it's a little bit smoother type of styrofoam and it'll resist the heat a lot better. Anyway I hope this little tip uh, helped you out. If you did leave your comments down below and thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.